Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I am playing with a super exciting collection that I was sent. Like I had to record and it is from Model Zone. It is the Celestia collection that they just came out with. So I will be swatching two lip toppers, one I'm wearing right now. I love it so much. And then I will be playing with the Celestial palette, which is this one here. You will see the shades a little bit more once we get into it. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a quick getting ready with me on the eyes. This is the look I came up with. This is the lip I came up with. If you guys want to see me get ready and do this look, then go ahead and keep on watching and I will see you at the end. All right, guys, so I did my brows off camera. We are going to jump right into the Celestial palette from the Models Own Celestial collection. These shades are so pretty and I actually had a lot of people on Instagram asking, you know, for a look already with this. I look a little bit bright on camera. <laughs> but these shades are so pretty. Just so you guys know, these are mostly shimmer shades. There aren't a lot of transition shades per se. I know there's shades that you can use as transition shades, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and try and use those to create a look, and then we'll kind of do a final thought on what this like palette is. I'm gonna remove this plastic from the mirror, and I'm gonna jump right into it. It does come with a brush. This brush does look somewhat promising. I don't know about this for the crease and like, you know, building up. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna actually use just a regular brush. This is a Morphe E28, and then I'll kind of go in with packing on color with this one, just you know, so I do get a full use out of it. It looks like one that will be amazing for wedding. So I'm really excited for that one. I'm gonna go ahead and use Allure, which is this goldish shade right here. Okay, so I did change my mind. I was gonna start the transition with the shade from the palette, but I think I need something a little bit more defined. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with uh, Makeup Geek's Coco Bear, which is this one here. I feel like everyone has this shade in their collection. If you don't, oh my gosh, you need it. So I did set my eyelids with the uh, Anastasia, of course, contour kit. That's how I, I lined my brows. And I'm gonna go from there. This shade is just so wonderful. And it goes with everything. It's similar to the one from Kat Von D's palette, but I used Kat Von D's palette in the last video, so I don't wanna use it in this one. Okay, so now that I have a base shade laid down, I can kinda use the palette a little bit more. I think what I wanna do is play with the purple in the palette. So I'm gonna go in with this darker shade first, create some sort of transition. So that shade is charming. I'm gonna go into that one really quick. So pigmented, <laughs> Manny, <laughs> it's so pigmented. I kind of expected it to be a little, little bit darker, but it did pick up a lot on that brush, as you can see. Like this brush was clean before. So it's blending out amazing. This looks amazing on you. All right, it is very shimmery, like I said. I think the other palette they sent me was not as shimmery. I'll have to double check, but that palette is stunning. I'll create a look with that one as well. It may not be a full video, but it'll definitely be a video for at least Instagram. <laughs> so I'm gonna take a Luxie 237 brush. I'm gonna go into Purity, which is this one here, the top white one, and I'm kinda just gonna go over the brow bone just to brighten this up a little. It's a really pretty shade. My skin has just been gnarly those last couple days. I think with the stress of New York, my skin's like, yo, take a chill pill. Okay, so next I'm gonna go into the purple, which is Divine. I'm gonna take a Morphe R33 brush. It's a very dense brush. And I am gonna pick up as much as I can. So that picked up quite a bit of powder. There's no like kickback on the actual palette, which I freaking love. But then again, these are shimmer shades. So I'm going to kind of go all over the lid a little bit. It's really light on the lid, but there's color. So I think this is gonna be one you have to build up. Yeah, definitely building this up gives you more color. I'm wondering if I use this brush that came with the packaging, just cause it's a more, okay, flat brush works way better. So not a dense blending brush, a flat brush works better. Mind you, these shades are really light, so I don't know if it's just not the right shade for my lid or if it just doesn't have a lot of color. So I'm gonna go in with the second eye now. 
I did not prime my lids, just so you guys know. Like I said, I use what I usually do, which is the Anastasia um, contour kit, like I mentioned just a little bit ago. It's the only thing I did with my eyelids. So I did have to dip back a couple of times to get this color. The shade is still really pretty. The purple is not as, it's not packing on as much as I would like it to. Let's let the brush. So I did figure out that not to use that spray for the dose of colors because I use with regular water and my eyes were just fine. So that adds on a little bit more. So that adds a lot more shimmer. Sometimes the problem with these all shimmer palettes is like the shades don't have as much payoff as opposed to like, you know, mixing the mattes with it. I don't know what it is, but that just seems to be something I've noticed. So I think this is the shade that I like a lot more as opposed to what it was doing earlier. I'm gonna go in with Doves, which is that silver one right there. And I'm gonna kind of give a pop of color. I think this is one that definitely needs to be wet on the brush. So I'm gonna spray the brush this end again. <clears throat> this shade is really pretty. Whoa, do you? Can you see how pigmented that one is with the spray? Woo! This I can live with. So that shade is so pretty. Did not take a lot. Just wet the brush a little bit. And it is freaking gorgeous. This, one, this one's going to give two very enthusiastic thumbs up for me. <laughs> so I went too far in right here. So I'm going to go back in with purple just to give it a little bit more shape to the center so it's more like a halo eye as opposed to a big blob on my eyeball <laughs> well it actually looks really pretty mixed if you see right here i accidentally mixed some of the silver with the purple and it looks really pretty together let's do that again on accident okay so that silver is so pretty i'm gonna take a small brush and i'm gonna get the inner corner with magical which is this like yellow gold kind of cornflower off white shade that shade is so pretty <gasps> so i do feel like my eyeballs are a little bit of a mess but i am gonna go ahead and line it with the liner they sent over this is the model's own i swatched this yesterday and i was blown away like the the tip is felt but it's like a harder felt so like i don't know how to describe it but it's freaking bomb and i love that about it please say a prayer because i have not been wearing wings lately all right so i went a little bit bigger than i expected i can clean this side up and make it a little bit smaller which i think i'm gonna do but well as far as application goes i really like the way it applied This is more the kind of wing I was looking for. So I'm gonna go ahead and clean this side up and then we will move on to like mascara and falsies and all that goodness, okay? Okay, so I really liked the palette. Uh, there was some like trouble with the purple shade. The silver shade's gorgeous and the inner corner's really pretty. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to do my face off camera and then I will be back. We will do the rest and focus on the eyes. Actually, before I go on, I'm gonna go ahead and use mascara. The mascara I'm gonna be using is the Josie Marin Mascara with Argan Oil. I got this at Gen Beauty New York last year and I've just been using it recently and I freaking love it. And then we'll go win, like I said, with lashes and everything. Okay, so now that I have blush on, my face is done, I'm gonna be using the Sculpting Glow. It comes like this. This shade is so pretty. Like I swatched it on my snap yesterday and I was blown away. So do you see that? You see how pretty that is. So I don't even know what's the best way to apply this, to be honest. So I'm actually just gonna take my finger and apply it that way. Because this is seriously so pigmented. I feel like every time I hear, I say so pigmented, I think of, oh my God. I think of Manny and Miwe. Let me try this side with this. I feel like it's almost too more pigmented on the, the hand than it is on the skin. There we go. I am not a fan of the blush I use, but the highlight 
is really pretty. I'm gonna go back in with the Celestial palette and then we're gonna play a little bit under the eyes. I'm gonna use the purple again under and then kind of blend it out with um, Graceful, which is this shade here, the pinkish one. So let's just take this brush. And then I'm gonna go back in to Magical and add a little bit more just so it pops a little bit more since I've been playing with my face a little bit. I really enjoy this palette. I'm gonna go ahead and put some lipstick on and then we're gonna play with the lip toppers a little bit. So these two are both just toppers. There's a pink one that is so pretty. And then there's like a clear one that is also really pretty, but it's a little bit more iridescent slash clear. I mean, it's, it's literally a clear gloss, but I don't know if you can see. Yeah, okay, you can see those on camera. Okay, the pink one is called Rose Comet and the whitish one is called Stardust. So I'm going to go finish my look and then we will go in with some regular lipstick shades and swatch them okay and we're back so i am going to go ahead and do lip swatches of the two toppers on top of a shade that i thought was a little bit oh, universal i don't know if everybody owns it but i think like everyone owns a shade similar to it i thought about going with a nude but because they have pink like undertones to them i thought it'd be easier to go with a more pink shade so i went with kat von d in love sick so I, I, you know, it's funny, this shade is actually not 100% one of my favorites year round, but certain times of year, it really it looks so pretty. So I'm going to swatch Stardust first over it. And like I said, this is just a lip to, oh. Oh, it smells so good. They smell like candy. So this one. What do you think? I'm going to go in. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then I'm gonna go in with the second coat, but that looks so pretty on. <laughs> All right, so it's feeling pretty dry, not too overwhelmingly dry, so I'm gonna go in a second time. Oh my God, that's so pretty. All right, guys, what do you guys think? It's Supernova Girl. <laughs> I feel like Xenon from the 21st century. Like Zetus Lapidus. So this, this shade is really pretty. They don't feel too dry, but you can definitely tell there's a topper on top of them. Like, oh my gosh. I don't know if you can see in the monitor, but like even in my mirror with my lights, it's just so reflective and so pretty. Let me just freaking zoom in just so you guys can kind of see what I'm talking about. Okay, so this is what it looks like up close. I feel like in my monitor, I'm not seeing it as pink and as reflective, but it's so pretty. So now that I have this one on, I'm gonna go ahead and swatch the other shade on top of this one as well, just so you guys can see what they both look over the pink shade. All right, guys, let's go with the pink one. I'm really excited for this one because they smell so good. Oh! All right, that was, that was, that was like, hold on. You guys can see my mirror a little bit more, but this shade is so pretty. Ready. Okay, I don't think I want to take this shade off. Game over. Game over. <laughs> That's so pretty. Oh my god. I'm in love. Okay, these are like winners for me. At the entire collection. These shades, well, especially this one, is just like... I can't like <laughs> look how pretty it is you know what this reminds me of like this combination okay I could be wrong because I don't own the shade but the sugar pill trinket like it has this little thing when you rub it it activates glitter like this top coat phenomenal just absolutely stunning oh, the shade. <laughs> all right guys like let's first things first these lips I mean, you just saw me swatch them. I'm so in love with them. I'm so in love with this particular shade. I think these toppers are 100% a hit. I don't have the prices, but I'm gonna link them down below. I'm gonna recommend these first and foremost out of everything because these are freaking amazing. 
As far as the palette goes, I did have a little bit of trouble with the purple shade, but the silver was phenomenal. I am a little bit bummed it didn't have any transition shades, but you know, I feel like that's more of the norm these days. Like they're not doing transition shades as much in palettes just because everybody has the same ones, just like Jesse and Katie said with theirs. So that wasn't too much of like a downfall for me because I, it, overall I really liked it. They did also send me a glitter lip kit, which I haven't used yet. I'm going to use that in a separate post, like on Instagram. So keep an eye out for that one. And then they sent me a face glitter kit, which I will also be doing a post on separately. So keep an eye out for those. The eyeliner... The eyeliner is a classic. It's one of their, I guess, normal ones. Like, it's you know, something that they've had for a while. I really loved how it dried down to a matte. I loved the applicator. I felt like it was so good to work with. And then, of course, the highlighter, actually, now that we're talking, is so good. Like, yes! I would definitely recommend the highlighter as well. Honestly, everything from the collection was a hit for me. These lip toppers just amazing the palette itself is so good uh, i'm just and they're a really affordable brand like i used to be so big on models own nail polish like they created the best unique nail polishes you could get your hands on i'm not even kidding like if you guys have known me for a long time you guys know you guys know i've been into nail polish like i actually wanted to create my own nail polish but that's for a different story different day anyways yeah i really do like the brand i was so excited when i got this package this video was not sponsored i have not been paid these are my honest reviews as you guys saw i just struggle a little bit but overall i love this look so like a unicorn which i think is what they wanted us to go for <laughs> so if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you don't please just walk away pretend it didn't happen don't forget to subscribe if you're not already uh all my new subscribers welcome i'm so excited to see you guys here i hope you guys enjoy this video as much as the other ones but if you guys have any questions you guys let me know what you guys think down below and i will see all of you in the next video bye